Donna Brazil went on Morning Joe to talk about her new book, and um, she said something about the Hillary Clinton camp that has them fuming. A year later, Donald Trump is president. I still believe not because of Donald Trump, but because of mistakes that the Clinton campaign made, as well as James Comey, as well as the Russians. I'll put it all in there, but it should have never been a close race. So uh, bottom line it for us. I agree with you on that. B bottom line <laughs> it for us. Why did they lose? Was it at the end of the day arrogance? Um, Yes, Joe. I, it was a cult. I, I felt like it was a cult. You could not penetrate them. I mean, I look, you can. I'm a grassroots organizer. I know I know street politics better than I know sweet politics. I know how to touch people where they live, work, play and pray. But I cannot do it. I cannot help a candidate, Joe, if I don't have the resources, if I cannot spend the resources that the party is raising. It was a cult. Hillary's camp was a cult. Donna Brazil, the interim head of the DNC, who was on Hillary's side, is now saying, listen, it was a cult. There was no getting through to him. No reasoning with him. This is, in Donna's book, she talks about how when she found out the agreement and how the primary was rigged from the beginning and she called uh, Bernie Sanders to let him know the reality of it, and she said, listen, the enthusiasm's not there on the ground. Because that was Bernie's first question. Not, oh my God, I got so fucked over. This is horrible. He was like, how bad is it? Like, is Donald Trump about to be president? Like, that's, that was his first concern. Oh shit, Donald Trump might become president. And Donna Brazil goes, there's just not the enthusiasm on the ground for her. And now she's admitting it. It was a cult. Listen, and this isn't a partisan thing here, because I, I would argue Donald Trump supporters, very cultish as well, man. 100%. Because what you find is there's a small number of really virulent supporters for them. And they don't accept any criticism. Now, on the flip side, people have accused Bernie Sanders supporters of being a cult. Hilarious. Because in my experience, I haven't met a single Bernie Sanders supporter who goes, I think he's right on BDS. Because Bernie's not in favor of boycotts, divestments, and sanctions um, against Israel to try to get Palestinians equal rights. Um, but I haven't met a single Bernie Sanders supporter who agrees with him on that. Everyone I've spoken to, now that's anecdotal, of course, but it does show that a pretty large chunk of them are willing to go, you know what, I, you're wrong on that, dude. You're wrong on that. I've heard... People on the left criticize Bernie Sanders for not standing up on the issue of drone strikes. There's been cr criticisms of Bernie on foreign policy. So it's, I've seen the criticisms from his own camp of him. I don't see that from the virulent Hillary supporters. I just don't. I just don't. And with Trump, same thing. They seem to circle the wagons more when, uh, whenever there's legitimate arguments against him. And you know it's a cult. Here's the main giveaway. It, they've been on both sides of every policy. They've been, I mean, you look at everything Donald Trump has said on every different policy issue. Whether it's foreign policy, whether it's social issues like abortion, um, you know, uh, economic issues, trade issues. He's been on every side of it. There's not a single fucking issue where he's consistent. Immigration even. There was a time when he was liberal on immigration. Hillary Clinton, same thing. She's been on every side of every issue. So when people, you know, when you actively would pick somebody like Hillary in the primary over Bernie Sanders, what you're saying is it's not about policy. It's not about policy. Because I don't know what, nobody knows what Hillary really believes. Nobody knows. Because she's been on both sides of, of every issue. So it can't be about policy, so then why would you pick her over a person who's been consistent on what the left position is for decades and decades and decades? The answer is, you don't give a shit about policy. The answer is, it's got to be something else. It's gotta, I don't know her personality. I like her personality, so I'm going to circle the wagons and defend her. Daddy Trump, same thing. Oh my God, I'm going to circle the wagons and defend him. So that's how you know it's a cult, where you're talking about 
politicians who are supposed to push for policy that represents the people, and you go, no, I don't care about that. I'm just in favor of this person because I like their personality, because I'm on their side, because I'm uh, in their camp, on their team, and I will defend them come hell or high water. So, there you have it. I mean, a top Democratic official. Nobody's populist leftist. Donna Brazil saying, yeah, it was kind of a cult. You know, I don't know what you want me to say. It was kind of a cult. And um, another hallmark of cultism, when presented with information that contradicts what the official dogma is and what the narrative is, sweep it aside, brush it under the rug. And that's really what Donna Brazil is alluding to there. Donna Brazil is saying, when I tried to talk to the Hillary people and say, like, hey, you know, Mich in Michigan, what's going on in Michigan here? In Ohio, you're really not doing well in Ohio now, are you? Hey, maybe you should go to the Rust Belt. Maybe you should campaign there. And maybe you should talk about middle class jobs and not outsourcing. And maybe you should go to the Rust Belt a lot and fight to, to try to appear populist so you can win. Maybe you should do that. The response from the Hillary campaign was, no, we're good. 100% cultish. I don't care about the polls. I don't care about the data. I don't care about the sense on the ground. I've already been anointed, and I'm entitled to this position, and it's a coronation. <laughs> well, the crude reality slapped you in the face, and uh, now they're hell-bent on making the same mistakes. <laughs> but there's a mutiny happening, and there's uh, somebody who's broken ranks with the cult, and now that's why they attack her viciously. That's why we just covered the story before about how people in the Hillary campaign are literally saying now um, Donna Brazil's a Putin stooge. The Russians got her. The Russians got her. <laughs> they couldn't prove her point about being a cult more if they tried.